up everybody? So we're back out in the shop with another Shop Talk Tuesday. And in this episode, we are working on the 1084 K-Tip Gaiuto Steak Knife. Now, in this particular episode, we need to go ahead, get our holes drilled for our pins in the tang. We need to go ahead, grind to our center edge. We're not gonna grind our bevels fully in. We're just gonna knock this edge off, put some little 45s on there, define that center cutting edge, and then we're gonna go ahead, go into the other shop, heat up the forge, bring this particular blade up to 1550 degrees, let it air cool, bring it up to 1500 degrees, let it air cool, bring it up to 1475 degrees, then let it air cool. Between each one of those, we're gonna let it cool to room temp, and then we're gonna go ahead, bring it up to 1500 degrees for about a minute, minute and a half, so we get a nice soak through on that heat, nice even heat all the way through it, and then we're gonna quench it in 120 degree peanut oil. Now, I'm gonna be using my laser thermometer, that guy right there, to help me actually make sure that I'm within the, the realm of the temps that I want it to be. Luckily, 1084 is super forgiving. Talk about a very forgiving still, 1084 is that choice. I would always suggest that if you're gonna start making knives, start with this and go from there. Now, once we get that part done, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna start grinding in our bevels, get this thing knocked out. Let's go ahead, let's jump into it, let's get some holes drilled. So we're gonna mark our edge, and then we're gonna scribe it on this little center scribe right here. I've got the depth set for what I want. So now that we've done our center line right there, we're going to go ahead and grind to that. I've got a 50 grit belt here. This is a belt that I've used a little bit. We're going to go ahead and use it. Just break that edge and grind down to that center line so that it defines the center edge. Plus, it will expose that area right there so that when we do quench it, we're going to get a nice, good, hardened edge. Go ahead and give it a little file test. 
mean, that is super hard. No biting at all. So now that we've done our tempering process on this and we got a nice straw finish on here, we want to go ahead, start grinding in our main bevels. Now, what I'm going to be doing is using a 50 grit belt as opposed to the normal 36 grit belt that I use because I don't want to have to grind out those 36 grit grinding lines in this process because it's already a thinner blade and I just don't want to have to fight that later. So 50 grit belt. We're going to be using light pressure, just letting the belt do its job. So light pressure and focusing on nice, even strokes as we're going by, gradually applying more pressure towards the spine and just slowly working it to here to bring that bevel up as high as we want it to go. So let's go ahead, let's get into it. Alright guys, let's go ahead and wrap this Shop Talk Tuesday up here. Now, I'm really excited about how this is turning out. I think that this is absolutely awesome. I like the hammer texture finish on there. I like the satin bevels that we got going there. You know, originally I was going to grind the bevels all the way up and do a full flat grind. But I think that this is more aesthetically pleasing to me. And because it's... You know, my steak knife, it's the, it's the knife that I'm going to be using in my kitchen every single week. I wanted to do something that was really pleasing to the eye to me. But I am interested to know what y'all think about this. Do y'all think that I went the right path on here and only bringing the bevels up so high? Do you think I should have went all the way up? I'm interested to know what y'all think. Now, what I'm going to be doing in the next Shop Talk Tuesday is focusing on the handle. We're going to attach and profile the handle. We're not going to be putting an edge on it because next episode, handle. The episode after that, we're going to sharpen it and then I'm going to go ahead and cook up a big old tomahawk steak and we're going to actually slice it, do that stuff. I think that's going to be pretty fun. I think it's going to be a fun little episode with the whole me cooking thing plus actually using this to cut steak it would be pointless for y'all to not see me, you know, cut a steak with the dedicated steak knife. So hopefully y'all are excited about that. Guys, that's the end of this one. If you would, 
Give the video a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there, and I'll catch y'all next time.